Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix iPhone unavailable try again in 3 hours. Setting a passcode on an iPhone makes sense on data protection and unauthorized access prevention. It does give you peace of mind, until the phone is locked suddenly and the screen says iPhone unavailable try again in 3 hours. No entrance to enter the passcode and unlock the device and you're left with a locked device that seems to not allow you to do anything on it. Though, it doesn't have to be this way. Why is your iPhone unavailable for 3 hours? Here are some common reasons. You forgot the passcode and entered the wrong code several times. Accidental touches on the lock screen keypad while in the pocket or bag. Update failure results in iPhone unavailable for 3 hours or 2 hours 58 minutes when no wrong passcode is entered. Now, go through some workable solutions to unlock the device. If you know the passcode, just try entering the correct one after waiting for 3 hours. If you don't remember the passcode, one iPhone unavailable try again in 3 hours fix is to reset the passcode without data loss and the other one is to perform a factory reset. We'll introduce all the methods step by step, which work for all iPhone models running from older iOS versions like iOS 12 to later iOS versions like iOS 18. Besides, if you have any questions, Write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Step 1. Wait 3 hours then try again. You try to unlock the screen but receive a message saying iPhone unavailable try after 3 hours. It sounds like the passcode were mistakenly entered while in pocket or handbag. In such cases, the direct solution is to wait for the timer to count down. If the 3 hours timer doesn't go down, or it's stuck on 2 hours 58 minutes on the iPhone unavailable screen, Make sure a SIM is inserted then try restarting the phone. Once the timer is up and the lock screen appears again, swipe up to open the keyboard and enter the correct lock passcode. Now, you should get the iPhone out of 3 hours unavailable mode. To avoid accidental touches causing the iPhone unavailable try again in 3 hours stuck, go to Settings, tap Accessibility, select Touch and Turn Off Tab to Wait feature. Step 2. Change passcode on unavailable screen. We've all been there. Change the passcode then forget it the next day. Apple knows that and releases a new feature in iOS 17 helping users to reset the forgotten passcode after changing it within 72 hours. This can be easily done on the lock screen or unavailable without leading to data loss. If you see the iPhone says unavailable try again in 3 hours due to this reason, try this. At the bottom right corner of the unavailable screen, tap forgot passcode. Tap reset iPhone passcode button. Enter the previous passcode. If it's correct, it'll ask you to enter a new passcode. Just figure out a passcode that's easy to remember, enter it and confirm. After that, your iPhone will unlock itself. Just swipe up the screen to access the phone again. If you don't see the reset iPhone passcode, you'll need to factory reset iPhone to bypass the message saying unavailable try again in 2 hours 58 minutes or 3 hours. We'll introduce 3 methods to do that in the following. Step 3. Tap Erase iPhone or Forgot Passcode to do a reset. As mentioned before, doing a factory reset is the only solution when the error continues or you don't remember the passcode. If you have backups and wish to proceed with resetting, the first trick to try is to trigger a reset of the device locally. To do that, just follow the steps that are suitable for your specific iPhone model or iOS version it's running. In an iPhone running iOS between 15.2 and 16, Tap Erase iPhone in the bottom corner of your iPhone that says it is unavailable try again in 3 hours. In the next security lockout screen, tap Erase iPhone again. When asked, type the password of the connected Apple ID and tap Erase iPhone to confirm. In an iPhone running iOS 17 or later, tap Forgot Passcode. Option. Next, choose Start iPhone Reset. When asked, type the password to log out the connected Apple ID. Tap Erase iPhone to permanently delete all of your data and settings. The erase process will start within seconds as long as the device is connected to a stable internet. After your iPhone restarts, set up the device, restore your data and settings from a backup if any, and then access the phone to use it again. Step 4. Go to iCloud.com or use Find My App to do a reset. iCloud allows you to remotely erase everything on the phone using the enabled Find My feature and the Apple ID and password. Try this when no erase option showing up on the iPhone or the screen is unresponsive. There are two ways. One is using Find My App on another Apple device. The other is using a browser and logging into iCloud.com. 
We'll take iCloud.com as an example to show you how to fix iPhone unavailable 3 hours. The steps are almost the same as doing that in Find My App. Let's start. Open Google or other browsers you like. Visit iCloud.com and enter the unavailable iPhone's Apple ID and password to sign in. If you've turned on two-factor authentication, it'll require you to enter the code to verify. After you enter the page, scroll down to find and choose the green Find iPhone option. In the next screen, choose your iPhone where you see iPhone unavailable try again in three hours. Then, move the cursor to click Erase this iPhone, confirm to erase, and fulfill the following steps. The erase will begin in seconds. After that, set up your device from scratch or you can restore the device from the most recent backup. Step 5. Connect to a computer to do a reset. For users familiar with iTunes, Apple Devices app, or Finder application, using a computer is an ideal solution when an iPhone has locked you out for 3 hours with an unavailable screen. Prepare a USB cable that came with your iPhone. Then, install and open iTunes or Apple Devices app. If you're using a Mac running macOS Catalina 10.15 or later, launch Finder or Apple Devices app instead. Once ready, connect your iPhone to the computer using the cord. Next, put your iPhone into recovery mode. In an iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. In an iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, Press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. In an iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. If you fail to enter the recovery mode, just try again or switch a cable. Once succeeded, go to the computer. A dialog box with update and restore option should appear on the iTunes, Apple devices app or finder application window. Move the mouse cursor to click the Restore button. Click Restore and Update, click Next, and click Agree. Then, your final job is to put the device back to recovery mode if it leaves and wait for the restore process to finish. Once done, your iPhone won't iPhone unavailable try again in 3 hours. Instead, the Hello screen will appear. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to get out of iPhone unavailable try again in 3 hours screen. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in unlocking the device and using it again. If you did, please consider liking and buying this video a super thanks. Your support means a lot to us to deliver more tech-related content. Until next time.